Welcome to Bio 124 Human Diseases. My name is Terry and I am your instructor for this course. I have created this video as a tool for you to help you find the information on Blackboard that you need to be successful in this course. We're going to take a look at the column on the left hand side. Right now we are on the home page, but we're going to look at a couple of the other tabs which I feel are most important for you to access. We have our Start Here folder, our Lessons folder, our Course Message folder, our Announcements, and of course your grades. We're going to first go to the Start Here folder and take a look around. In the Start Here folder you're going to find quite a few tabs that I encourage you to open and read the information. The first tab is our overview tab, which gives you information about this course, what we're going to be studying, and how we're going to go about accomplishing this task. The second tab is our syllabus, which we're going to open up. Now this is the syllabus for summer, which is a little different than the syllabus for fall because we have condensed things down from 16 weeks to 8 weeks. Hence the reason why I call the summer course the Human Disease Express. But when we look at this syllabus, it's a pretty basic standard syllabus. It shows you that the course is online and only online. It gives you information on how to email me, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. Um, it also states what textbooks we're going to be using, what, what's required. Goes into the methods of assessment, how the grades are determined talks about the case studies you will be doing this semester as well as the discussion forums. We also have the new withdrawal policy posted here and the withdrawal date from this course which is no later than July 15th. At the bottom is our course schedule. On the left hand side is the, um, the topics we will be discussing. On the right hand side is where you're going to find those topics. On the left hand side you'll also have your list of assignments and on the right hand side when those assignments are due. Now as I mentioned before we go back to the Start Here folder, there is a course message tab here which is where I want you to message me. I teach a couple sections of this course. I have about 60 of you that I'm teaching and if you message me in the Stark State email system, it takes a little bit of time for me to figure out who you are, what course you're in, and how to answer your concern. Well, if you, where if you message me in our course message system, I automatically know which course you're in, I can access your grades right away and your assignments right away, and it's a little quicker for me to get back to you. So that is my preferred method of communication, is through Blackboard message system. Now we're going to go back to the Start Here folder. We're going to take a look at some of these other tabs. We have a tab here, a folder here, that says Study Guide for Tests. This is open all semester. It's probably a good idea to take a look at the Study Guide for Test 1 before you start learning the material for Test 1 so you know where to focus your energy. As I stated, you will be doing a couple of research assignments this semester. You have three case studies that you will be doing. You will access them in the exam room folder, which I will go through here in a couple minutes. You also have a paper to complete, which that information you will find in the week two learning module. The next tab is my expectations of you, your expectations of me. Next is how grades are determined, which I think is really important to understand. This course is a weighted course. That means not every assignment has the same weight as every other assignment especially your tests. It's important to understand that your tests are 65% of your grade. You can't just add up your points, divide it by the number of assignments, and assume you should have a C or a B in the course because of the points divided by assignments. I've had students in the past who have failed every test and couldn't understand why they aren't passing the class when they have A's on all their homework assignments. The homework assignments can make the difference between a letter grade, between an A and a B, a B and a C, and so forth. But the weight of your grade is from your tests. The reason being, this is the tool we use to assess your knowledge of the material. So of course it's worth more. So it's important to read this folder and understand this. 
The next folder talks about how to submit your assignments in Dropbox. Your paper, your case studies are going to be put into Dropbox. Instructions are here. Information on what courses you need to take prior to actually taking the human disease course. Frequently asked questions. And finally, a discussion forum introduction. Since we don't meet face-to-face -face and we don't get an opportunity to get to know each other, this forum is here for you to introduce yourself to the rest of your classmates. I ask that you complete this within the first week of this course so we can kind of get an idea of who each other are. Um, finally, because this is an online course, of course we have netiquette guidelines on how I expect you to interact with me and your other classmates. We're now going to go to the lessons folder. I have a couple of these things opened up right now for you to look at. The rest of this folder is going to open at the start of class. Muddy Point is here for you to ask questions. If we had a face-to-face -face class and you would normally raise your hand about a concept that you have a question on that you're not understanding, this is where you post that question. I will be monitoring this on a regular basis and answering your questions in a timely fashion. Next is our exam room folder. This is where you're going to find your case studies. Now we're going to open this. There is an exam room that is open, but the exam rooms don't remain open. They open up the week the case study is due and they close at the end of that week. So you have seven days to complete your case studies the week they are due. We're going to enter exam room two and you're going to see we have two patients to choose from. We have a description of their complaints and we have questions we need to answer and instructions on how to label this to put it into Dropbox. Every time there is a case study that is due, you are to enter an exam room and pick one patient and follow the instructions on answering the questions and submitting to Dropbox. Finally, we're going to go back to our lessons folder here and we're going to take a look at our week one learning module. There's a brief description here about week one, but once we open it, we're going to see there is an even greater description about what we are going to accomplish in week one. All the assignments are listed and what to read, where you're going to find the information. Everything in the materials folder needs to be reviewed. The assignments that are due the week that we are in, like week one, these are assignments due week one, and the assignments that are coming up for the following week are also listed so you can plan ahead. We're now going to enter our materials folder and you're going to see I've listed our learning objectives, what I expect you to learn from each chapter that you're reading in your textbook. I have a couple other folders here based on the chapters in your textbook that you're assigned to read. We have Intro to Pathophys, Aging, Stress, and Obesity. When we enter the Intro to Tra Pathophys folder, you're going to see we have a PowerPoint, which I'm not going to open. The PowerPoints are meant to be adjunct to the textbook, meaning they're there to help you focus, they're there to help explain. I've added some audio to the PowerPoints. The longest each PowerPoint is is probably 30 slides, so it's not going to take you very long to go through these PowerPoints, but they're there to, to help you with the information in the textbook. Your textbook is what you need to focus on the PowerPoints are there to help. Doesn't mean you should not listen to the PowerPoints because you're going to be tested over all the material, not just one or the other. I've also created in some of the chapters something called a Quizlet. So Quizlets, we're going to go down here. This is the first one that I've created for you. Quizlets are ways to help you learn the terminology from that chapter. So you can see you can play flashcards, you can take a test, you can play some games, which can help you learn the information from that chapter, specifically the, the terminology. Now we're going to go to the aging folder and we're going to take a look at what I've placed here. So we have our PowerPoint um, as stated previously and we also have some articles to read that help support the information you're learning in the text and in the PowerPoints. So there's a couple of them listed. We have effects of aging, cataracts, what is Alzheimer's, so important things to review. The last thing we're going to take a look at is our, our, assignment, video, our assignment folder. You're going to see that we have um, a video you need to watch in order to do a, do a discussion forum, and there's also a test one review discussion forum. 
So the week prior to every test, you are going to have a discussion forum where you can ask questions about the test that's coming up of me and of your classmates. I hope this video helps explain this course to you. If you have any questions or concerns after watching the video or as you go through this course, that's what I'm here for. I will help you find your way around if things are a little confusing and I will help explain the process as well. So feel free to reach out to me at any point in time.